afternoon and welcome to WKRG News 5 at noon. I'm Devin Walsh along with Bill Riles and we are here to kick off WKRG News 5's magical Christmas toy drive. Oh, we're going to tip it off. Tip yes, it away. There That's we go. right. I tell you what, this is always a big, big time for us as we kick off the magical Christmas toy drive. And of course, you know what that means. That means we need your help and lots of it this year. There are some obstacles some people have had to overcome this year and it's it's looking bad for I, a lot of people. I know. You know? We didn't need to just say 2020. It has been a tough year for a lot of people. And I know that every year we ask for your help. And every year, people always come through. That's right. And, of course, the goal this year is to, uh, John Nodar said it this morning, fill this room yes. to the rafters with toys. And the rafters are pretty high here. <laughs> That's right. And maybe 40 feet or so, something like that. So we want to fill it up with toys. And all you have to do is bring a new unwrapped toy to us mm -hmm. or any of our sponsors. I always say this is my favorite community project of it the is. year because this is an opportunity to for you to get involved in a small way or a big way you don't have to bring 10 toys you can bring one toy but you can know that that toy will be get under the tree of a child in need this christmas new unwrapped toys and we have uh, our partners who are with us this year mm -hmm. for the magical christmas toy drive they include zaxby's greer's rich's car wash baldwin emc and pen air federal credit union also, Wind Creek Casino and Hotel in Atmore, once again on board this year. So if you want to bring a toy, you can do that to any of those drop-off locations or here at WKRG during uh, working hours. Yeah, we, we've, had to, we've had to slim that back. Mm -hmm. There's some restrictions this year. But during our uh, hours 8 to 5, you can bring a toy to our lobby here at WKRG. We want to see you. We appreciate that very much. Yes, we do. And we also have a big toy vault in Pensacola that we need to fill up. Let's check in with WKRG News 5's Drexel Gilbert. Hey, Devin and Bill. Yes, at the SCI building in downtown Pensacola, we have the toy vault and we have a really tall ceiling here too, so we also need to fill it to the rafters. You know, one of the things I love about the Magical Christmas Toy Drive is that you can actually see love being built. And we see that as the toys continue to pile up and build into this huge pile that we know that the Northwest Florida community loves and cares about the children here. And you know what? We're going to need a lot of love this year. Maddie Broxton is here with the Salvation Army. We are socially distancing for this interview. But Maddie, um, it's going to be a record year, I'm hearing, for need. It will be a record year this year. Uh, we have so much need in the Northwest Florida due to Hurricane Sally and to the COVID-19. A lot of our people have lost jobs and hours have been cut greatly. And while you'll have some families that are returning families to this, uh, the toy drive, uh, you also have families, this is brand new for them. Yes, we have a lot of new families this year. We are probably about 50% of our families are new families this year. Okay, Maddie Broxton with the Salvation Army in Pensacola. Thank you so much for being here. So, a lot of the times people say to me, I don't know what kind of a toy to buy. Well, buy uh, any kind of a toy from birth to age 14 and drop it off of any of our sponsor drop-off locations. And they include Pin Air Federal Credit Union, Rich's Car Wash, Zaxby's, also Wind Creek Casino, and Greer. So thank you so much in advance for the help that you are going to provide.